degrees warmer. Rain chances moving in by the time we get into the end of the week. That's your forecast first. NBC 10 News at 5 starts right now. Live from your local news leader, this is NBC 10 News at 5. Rustin still on the road to recovery after a devastating tornado ripped through the town. We take a look at how the community is coming together in one of the hardest hit areas. And a dramatic explosion at an Arkansas fast food restaurant was caught on camera when a propane tank burst into a massive ball of fire. Here from the survivor. Plus, the community is still rallying behind both elementary details on the latest fundraiser since the tragic fire. Hello and thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Bria Jones. Chelsea has the night off. Topping our news at five, we've seen the businesses and buildings destroyed and rusted. But today, we explored one of the hardest hit areas in the city. NBC 10's Anna McAllister has the story. It looks like a scene from a movie. Trees toppled over houses. Cars completely crushed. Homes split in half. This is one of Ruston's hardest hit neighborhoods. I've been doing this 34 years. I've never seen this much damage concentrated like this. I mean, every home has got a tree on it. Almost every vehicle that was at the house are crushed. I've never seen anything like it. Line crews and tree cutters working tirelessly near Pinewood Lane in Ruston. Power lines entirely mangled by Thursday's wicked winds. Many residents with partially or completely damaged homes. I was sound asleep Thursday night and my husband came and grabbed me, yanked me out of the bed and we went and stood in the hallway with hugging pillows to stay safe. While the Addisons retreated to their hallway, a massive tree ripped through their home. Outside, their two cars totally smashed. They've been without utilities for days, camping in their severely damaged home. We have camped our whole lives, so we got a camp stove and we're able to fend for ourselves. As the massive cleanup continues, officials are asking for everyone's patience and cooperation. We're asking everybody out else at this point to stay out because this section uh, of the electrical grid is top priority right now. They're trying to keep everybody out and let these guys do their job. Miraculously, no one in that neighborhood was hurt. We're all safe, and that's what matters. Every person on our street is safe, and no one was hurt. And our furry four-legged children are safe, too, so that's, that's a good thing. Reporting in Ruston, Adam McAllister, NBC10, your local news leader. Neighborhood cleanups are expected to continue for a few more weeks. Cage says if you're cleaning up debris, make sure to put it on the side of the road so it can properly be disposed. And on to an update for parents and students. Since the tornado, multiple schools in the Ruston area have been closed. But today we've learned from the Lincoln Parish Sheriff's Office, all Lincoln Parish schools, Cedar Creek and Louisiana Tech will all be open tomorrow. There will be an alternate bus routes for students who live in areas with severe damage. And on to a crime alert. Farmerville police need your help finding an armed robbery suspect. Police are looking for the person you're about to see on your screen. Officers say the robbery happened around 5 this morning at the Huddle House on North Main Street. The suspect is described as a black male wearing a red hoodie. Investigators say he entered the business with a handgun and took an unknown amount of cash. He was last seen running towards Reed Lumber on Bernie's Highway. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 318-368-9679. And Louisiana State Police have identified two of the three people killed in a head-on collision Friday evening in Bastrop. Troopers say the two-car crash happened just before 6 p.m. on L.A. Highway 3051. According to state police, a 1997 Chevrolet Monte Carlo driven by 37-year-old Jonathan Smith was traveling northbound when the car crossed the center line on 20 crossed the center line and hit a 2016 Chevrolet Cruze driven by James Tulos. After the impact, Smith's car went into a ditch and caught on fire. Officials say Smith and his passenger, as well as Tulos, all died on the scene. A toxicology sample was obtained for testing. The crash remains under investigation.
and caught on camera, an Arkansas man remembering the scary moments. His truck burst into flames, then exploded at a fast food drive through Ron Daniel got out of the hospital Friday night. He says he's not in a lot of pain, but he's very uncomfortable in taking medicine. Warning, the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some. He spoke exclusively to our Rochelle Turner. I've got little blisters on me with different places. Ron Daniel sits in a chair covered in first degree burns. And I got blisters under my eyes. It's got puffed water in them. The 78 year old says everything went downhill after he made a stop in BB Friday. I had picked up a bottle of propane and I was going to go buy Burger King and get me a couple of whoppers. Waiting for his flame grilled burgers in a drive through Daniel starts hearing a hissing noise. I realized it was a propane tank leaking. He tried to check the shutoff valve. I stuck my hand in and touched it. It burst into flames. This video captured by a viewer just across the street. I just went and sat on the light over there. And before Daniel knew it, his truck exploded. I looked up and saw debris in the air and I just took off running. Straighten it out, you got full air. BB police and fire put out the flames. Sorry, I caused somebody some problem. And Daniel's red truck, a total loss. And I only means of transportation. Instead of getting his flame grilled burgers. And I didn't get them yet, but they short charged me on my credit card. Well, now he has to wait. But I, I won't hold I won't hold Burger King to that. <laughs> Well, he sure seems to be in good spirits. Ron says he's going to be seeing doctors in the next few days to make sure his burns heal correctly. His family started a GoFundMe page to help him get a new truck. You can find that link on our website, myarklamiss.com. And new at 6, we're going to switch gears. Support still rolling in for Bowley Elementary. Yesterday, Slim Chickens held a breakfast fundraiser for the school. Teachers came up out to hold signs up along Cypress Street, waving cars down to get them to come inside the restaurant for delicious waffles and, of course, some of that good chicken. Bowley Principal Sandy Bates says since the devastating fire, the community has really been generous. We just want to tell the community how much we appreciate everything they've done. It has been overwhelming, and the support keeps coming in, and we absolutely are overwhelmed with, the, with everything that everyone's done. 100% of the proceeds from the fundraiser will go to the school. And time is running out to get tickets for the St. Jude Dream Home. We've got less than 700 tickets left, folks. Braco Construction built this year's home in Monroe's Egret Landing. $100 buys your chance at a home worth $450,000. Get yours by calling 800-726-9874 or go to myarklamiss.com and click on St. Jude Dream Home under the community tab and take a look at some video we shot over the weekend of people out and about getting up close and personal at the dream home i mean look it's beautiful we caught up with one ticket holder who says it's just not about winning the home but supporting st jude it, it means a lot to me because you know i just had a loved one to leave about a month ago and then something like this you know you help the less fortunate ones and it'll be a blessing to help someone that needs it to stay on top of our news here in the Arklamis, make sure you download the NBC10 News app. Just search KTVE in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. And coming up on NBC10 News at 5, a report from Capitol Hill after President Donald Trump addresses the National Rifle Association. Bree Jackson has the details on the ongoing battle after the break. Hey, we enjoyed another nice day across the Arklamis. We'll enjoy another couple as we head into the upcoming work week. However, things turn soggy real quick. We'll time out all the details coming up when NBC 10 News at 5 continues. KTVE is an equal opportunity employer with our studios located at 200 Pavilion Road in West Monroe and 216 East Main Street in El Dorado. If your agency or organization wishes to be notified of job opportunities with KTVE, please contact us by phone, mail, or email. Once your request has been received, your team will be informed of any position that becomes available at KTVE. Hey, hey, I'm LB Crew. I am so proud to be representing my hometown, El Dorado, this season on The Voice. The Voice, Monday at 7 on NBC10. I was in a car wreck on a Saturday. I needed someone right away. Morris Bar is open 24-7. Even on the weekend? Call Morris Bar. He got me $225,000. One call or click. That's it. Take your spring break from high prices. 
It's the spring sales of the interstate in West Monroe. A Grand Cherokee, 9000 off. A Ram Bighorn Crew Cab, $33,990. A Wrangler Sport, $27,990. A Quad Cab, $22,990. A Jeep Renegade, $15,990. A Dodge Journey, $15,990. A Fiat Pop, $12,990. A $3,500 Laramie Crew, 4x4, $12,000 off. Shop interstatedodge.com. Get spring savings now at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Monroe. Only your Cub Cadet dealer, Yard Power, has genuine parts, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. And right now, get $100 off all Ultima Series zero-turn residential mowers. Follow us on the KTVE NBC10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. NBC10 News at 5 continues. The president and vice president both spoke at the National Rifle Association's legislative conference. President Trump has been friends of the NRA and has vowed to protect gun rights. The NRA is facing tough times in the U.S. House of Representatives, where Democrats have already passed one gun control bill. Bree Jackson reports this battle over how to reduce America's gun violence will almost certainly continue to be a key issue heading into the 2020 election. It's under assault, but not when we're here. President Trump told the National Rifle Association Conference in Indianapolis he's committed to protecting their freedoms while taking action to protect Americans from gun violence. Through Stop School Violence Grants, we are helping local schools and police departments to hire more officers. The NRA has backed President Trump, and President Trump took some time to do some campaigning, warning against voting for his Democratic opponents. They want to take away your guns. You better get out there and vote. But Democrats like Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia say he's certain Americans want lawmakers to do more to address gun violence. It's because of the results of the elections last November. Kaine says lawmakers have failed to pass gun laws for too long. He's confident the Democratic controlled House can help change that. I think the House is now poised to pass meaningful legislation to promote gun safety. Shannon Watts with Moms Demand Action says common sense gun laws are a top priority for voters like her. It's really on this issue, Donald Trump right now is the odd man out. But the NRA audience would strongly disagree with that. I promise to defend the Second Amendment rights of every American, and I always will. I'll never let you down. In Washington, Bree Jackson. Well, it looks like sun's out, guns out, right? Mm -hmm. What's the weather going to be like? Uh, well, we're going to have a couple more nice days. We had a nice one today. Rain chances do eventually return for the majority of the upcoming work week. We'll talk that coming up next. You're watching NBC 10 News at 5. The Bayrag Shrine Circus Mystery Seat Contest comes to the Monroe Civic Center Saturday, May 4th, 10 a.m. performance only. If you're sitting in a lucky seat in intermission, you could win great prizes from these fine sponsors. So don't miss it. What does it mean to mow with an attitude? It means zero turns and full throttle. It's the power of 38 horses in a town of 10,000 people. It's like American Muscle got a PhD in rocket science. It's backing up your bark with serious bite. It's blood, sweat, and blades. What does it mean to mow with an attitude? Take a seat and find out for yourself. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. Car wreck on a Saturday or Sunday? Call Morris Bart. Morris Bart is open 24-7. I called Morris Bart on the weekend. He got to work right away. He got me $140,000. One call or click. That's it. Well, that's my ride. Whoa, that's your car? Yeah, it's pretty lit. Billy? Just drive, Mr. Johnson. The 2019 Toyota Camry. Right now, get $1,500 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2019 Camry. Toyota, let's go places. Be informed with the all-new KTVE KARD weather app. And it's free. Download your app today and see what Jared sees in real time. Download to the street where you live. The KTVE KARD weather app for iOS and Android. Brought to you by Sam Henry, the bankruptcy attorney. We've got the bases covered this season with all the local Little League action. Catch it.
on League Lights. Tuesday on NBC10 News Today and NBC10 Sports at 6. League Lights, brought to you by Spartan Adventure Park. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, happy Sunday. Hopefully you had uh, a chance to take advantage of the beautiful weather that we had across the Arklamas once again, although we did kind of start off on a cloudier note today. But as you can see right now, those clouds have cleared out for the most part. Just a few here and there. And uh, right on the dot for this time of year. 81 degrees currently here in the Twin Cities and not bad and uh, really not too uh, different across the Arklamas, depending on where you're at. Temperatures generally in the upper 70s to lower 80s across the large majority of the Arklamas. So a beautiful day, fairly typical, a little bit more humid than what we saw yesterday. At least that's what it felt like to me. And uh, that moisture will be on the crease over the next uh, couple days. Live storm tracker Doppler radar quiet, considering uh, we don't necessarily have strong high pressure over us, but we do uh, have enough to keep a bottle on any sort of precip chances. So that cold front that I was mentioning yesterday uh, kind of stalled out near southern Arkansas here, creating a few showers just uh, kind of across the Mid-South here, a little disturbance moving into Arkansas, but that will stay north of us. Maybe a few clouds in southern Arkansas uh, over the next couple hours or so, but uh, really not looking too much in the way of active weather here as we get into uh, the upcoming week. So Monday, Tuesday looking dry, but as you can see for future tracker, rain chances moving in as early as Wednesday, continuing into Thursday into Friday as well as uh, we just have an unsettled up level jet stream situated over the southern plains into the mid-south so uh, there'll be rounds of showers and thunderstorms possible for the majority of the upcoming work week here and these are the rain totals through friday at 5 p.m you can see here in monroe over an inch and a half of rain this one even wants to put over four inches of rain in shreveport so something that we do need to monitor with this as um, the potential for heavy rain certainly exists especially on the thursday time frame it looks like a large complex of storms could once again move through and uh, we'll be tracking to see if there is any severe weather potential with this. However, at this time, at least, the uh, ingredients are just not looking great for uh, organized severe weather. So we'll keep an eye on it, though, as we get closer to Thursday. But enjoy those two dry days for uh, while we have them. So it'll be interesting what this does to the Washita River here. Again, just sticking under that major flood stage level as we go into next week. But uh, certainly can't help efforts as... Uh, just we don't need any more rainfall. So for tonight, going to be clear and mild with temperatures once again dropping into the lower 60s. And uh, tonight, going to be mild across the majority of the Arklamas with the uh, 60s pretty much area-wide. So tomorrow will be another fairly typical day with highs getting into the middle 80s. And uh, here's just a quick look at highs across the area generally in the uh, lower to middle 80s. So here's a look at the seven-day forecast here just real quick. And as I mentioned, just unsettled. So starting very, very... Uh, starting late on Wednesday here as uh, showers and thunderstorms possible. Best chance Thursday and then 30% chances continue for Friday into the weekend, unfortunately. So we'll keep track of this as we get closer. That's going to be it for weather. Sports Chris Immersion coming up next. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's the official truck of calloused hands. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all-new Chevy Silverado. Chevy Truck Month continues, and this deal gets stronger. Get a total value of over $6,000 on this all-new Silverado. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $3,500 when you finance with GM Financial. See your super Chevy dealer today. I was in a car wreck on a Sunday. I called Morris Park. Even on the weekend, you can make that one call for Morris Park. Car wreck on the weekend? Call Morris Park. He got me $115,000. One call or click. That's it. Racing is in Honda's DNA, and at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event, you can experience it. With the 2019 Honda Pilot, a Kelly Blue Book Best Buy, which comes standard with the 280 horsepower V6 engine. Hmm, I think I like it better in black. No, red. Here we go. Get a great deal on the Honda Pilot with Honda Sensing, safety and driver assistive technologies at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. Hi, I'm Ken with Ken's Coffee Service, your local office coffee and filtered water cooler specialist. Now offering your chief whole home water purification system. Look us up on myarklemist.com. 
If you've waited to buy, now's the time. During the spring sales event, now at Sparks Nissan in Monroe. Get the redesigned 2019 Nissan Altima with emergency braking, rear camera, and power driver's seat. Now only $299 a month. New Titan Crew Cabs with rear camera, Apple Android CarPlay, and America's best truck warranty, only $375 a month. Don't miss these huge spring savings happening now from Sparks Nissan in Monroe and DriveSparks.com. Now. Your local sports with Chris Demersion. Well, the Texers wrap up their senior weekend at ULM while their home field was damaged by Thursday's tragic tornado. They hope to sweep CUSA's best team in the East, by the way, Western Kentucky. Presley Galloway in the circle for the Texers makes Rebecca Engelhart look foolish. One of Galloway's three strikeouts. Western has two on. They're attempting to steal, but the catcher's throw gets past third base and allows Morgan McElroy to score. Visitors lead 1-0. Bottom four, Texas have runners at second and third. Sloan Stewartson brings him home. Lines is up the middle. Texas go up 2-1. They hang on a sweep Western Kentucky, 7-1. They're at Southern Miss next weekend. Warhawks win back-to-back -back Sun Belt Series. They edge Georgia State in the ATL. Last season, Grambling and Southern broke an all-time scoring record in their heated rivalry. They combined for 38 runs. Yesterday, both played at 39 following GSU's 22-16 win over the Jags. That's a football score, I think. Nice crowd at Ellis Field this afternoon. There's my friend Rafael Ramirez right there. G-Man already down 9-1 in the third inning. Jags have runners in the corners. This pitch slips through the catcher's legs. William Nelson comes on home. Now 10-1. John Gienze on the mound for Southern. He would strike out Warren Laster. Warren had three Ks for Gienze. GSU is still fighting, however. Relief pitcher Grant Landry retires Kobe Taylor. Landry ended with five strikeouts, but Grambling falls 15 to three in seven innings. Next up, Arkansas on Tuesday. Hey, going to Arkansas State where they're racing Red Wolves up there. Nice. Top five, ULM's Colin Gordon waits at third base, but he goes home here thanks to this wild pitch. We're all knotted at one. Same frame, Brayden Barrett 90 feet away. Trent Tinglestad says, come on home, bro. ULM leads 2-1. Still batting in the inning. Andrew Beasley goes oppo taco. This drops in for a hit. Joey Jordan scores. It's 3-1. Warhawks win the series with today's 4-2 victory. They'll host Alcorn on Tuesday. Hey, tough weekend for the Bulldogs. Ends in a sweep at the hands of Rice. Tech plays at NSU on Tuesday. Big weekend for a half dozen area softball teams. They represented Northeast Louisiana and the fast pitch 48 in Sulphur, but four returned home as state champions. Hey, over in 4A, West Washita wins their first title ever when they blinked Buckeye 3-0. Moving on, Mangum walked off Kinder 9-8 in the 2A championship game. Grace Underwood, the hero for the Lady Dragons. Over in Class 1A, Oak Grove defeats LaSalle 10-4 to win their title. They win back-to-back -back state championships. And finally, Claiborne Christians for, uh, survived a slugfest. They powered past Northside Christian 18-15 in the D5 championship. Over at ULM's tennis court, Neville had a big day in the Division II state championships. In the doubles, the team of Taylor Harris and Helen Johnson finished runners-up to St. Michael, the Archangel. But overall, they won the team championship. But the Lady Tigers star Car Caroline Graham wins back-to-back -back singles titles, this time over St. Thomas More's Kate Myers. Now that I know that our team overall has won state, so it's a big, everyone got us a point, so just... When it individually is cool too, but just everyone um, contributing to our win is just a big part of it. Her mom was a great tennis player as well. We'll hear from uh, Taylor Harris and Helen Johnson tonight at 10. Hey, ULM's Marcus Green off to Atlanta. The Warhawks drafted the uh, Green in the sixth round with the 203rd pick. According to the G uh, team's GM, they'll list Green as a running back. I guess we'll hear from Marcus at 10 o'clock. All right, Brian Briggs, you up next on Channel 10. Now to an NBC News exclusive. James Comey is speaking out. There was smoke, enough smoke to justify investigating. What does this tell us about the system? It tells us that our child welfare systems are broken. NBC News ISIS is last. My name is Clay Russell. I'm the executive director of Fresh Start. And if you would like more information on our faith-based inpatient alcohol and drug program, you can go to myarchemist.com and click on Ask the Experts. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's the official truck of calloused hands. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all-new Chevy Silverado. 
Chevy Truck Month continues, and this deal gets stronger. Get a total value of over $6,000 on this all-new Silverado. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $3,500 when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Join the madness. Morehouse May Madness, May 4th on the Square in Bastrop. There's live music, food vendors, art exhibits, an ATV exhibit, a pet pageant parade, a baseball tournament, a golf scramble, a classic car exhibit, antique tractors, a kid's zone, face painting, clothing and jewelry vendors, handcrafted items, and much, much more. Admission is free. Bring the whole family. May 4th to Morehouse May Madness in historic downtown Bastrop. Go to morehousemaymadness.com for more information. We just made the stress of your commute disappear. Introducing the all-new, impossibly smart Nissan Altima with Pro Pilot Assist. It's groundbreaking tech that takes the stress out of heavy highway traffic by helping you stop and start without touching a pedal. Experience Pro Pilot Assist, now available on four of our most popular models. For a limited time, save $2,000 or get a low $239 per month lease on the 2019 Nissan Altima. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Even on the weekend, you can make that one call to Morris Park. I was in a car wreck on a Sunday. I called Morris Park. I called Morris Park on the weekend. He went to work right away. He got me $100,000. One call or click, that's it. Nice weather will stick around for Monday into Tuesday before an unsettled weather pattern moves in for Wednesday and pretty much every rest of the day of the seven-day forecast here. Best chance for rain and storms looks to be Thursday. Heavy rain is also possible during that time frame. Checked out the severe weather parameters. Not looking all too great, but uh, maybe a strong storm possible. Can be updated with that. And uh, as we do get into the weekend, kind of some uh, afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Kind of getting to more of that time of year. So unfortunately, I hope we have drier days on the horizon. Yeah, Bria. You guys just missed it. Chris was telling me how much he hated me, right? Uh, that sounds about right. Sure. <laughs> that sounds sure. about right. Sounds yeah. like Chris Demersion, huh? I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> You're not going to say anything? Uh, well, I don't like the severe weather, but stick with us. We'll have more tonight at 10 o'clock. What Bria said.